U.S. President will arrive in Belfast on Tuesday evening along with British PM Rishi Sunak U.S. President Joe Biden is to give a key address at Ulster University's newly opened campus to kickstart his visit to Ireland next week. Mr. Biden is taking part in events north and south of the border to coincide with the 25th anniversary of the Belfast Agreement. It is understood his address at Ulster University's new Belfast campus will take place on Wednesday. Vice-Chancellor and President of Ulster University Professor Paul Bartholomew said it would be a significant day for the institution. We are looking forward to what will be a very special day in the university's history, and to hosting President Biden on his first visit to Northern Ireland since becoming president, he said. As we mark the 25th anniversary of the Belfast Good Friday Agreement, Ulster University, across all three of our campuses, is looking forward to preparing the next generation of civic, business and societal leaders. The U.S. President is to arrive in Belfast on Tuesday evening along with British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. Mr. Biden is not expected to visit Stormont, which, coupled with just one engagement confirmed in Northern Ireland, is being viewed by some as a snub. Tenaced Michael Martin has denied this was the case, arguing that any visit by a U.S. President was to be welcomed. People are envious of the commitment of President Biden to the entire island of Ireland, he said. I think his visit to Northern Ireland is a manifestation of his genuine commitment to the people of Northern Ireland. As part of his trip, Mr. Biden will visit Dublin where he's scheduled to make an address to the Wari Actas and meet Tawasich Leo Varadkar and President Michael D. Higgins. He is also expected to visit Koh Lauf and Koh Mayo, from where his ancestors hail. The end of the trip will include a public speech by the U.S. President in Koh Mayo, outside St. Myrdaka's Cathedral in Ballina, on Friday evening. From the famine ship to the White House, Joe Biden's Irish ancestry. Mr. Varadkar has said the purpose of Mr. Biden's visit was to welcome a son of Ireland home, to welcome home a great Irish-American president. He said it also offered an opportunity to cement the relationship between Ireland and the U.S., which he said had never been stronger, and to look ahead to Northern Ireland's future. A major security operation is expected to be in place for Mr. Biden's visit, with more than 300 officers from the rest of the UK being drafted in for the Northern Ireland leg of the trip. In a sign of the tight security measures that surround the diplomatic outing, some details of the presidential visit have yet to be confirmed. The PSNI said on Saturday that it was engaging with local communities and businesses who may be impacted by traffic restrictions in place on Tuesday and Wednesday. The First Lady Jill Biden is not expected to travel with Mr. Biden. Balcony of the Blue Room uh, overlooking the White House South Lawn, and we are honored to have the President you, Joe Biden and Dr. Hi. Jill Biden. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. First of all, how, how was your Easter? It was great. We went up to Camp David and we had a, uh, we read the whole family, it's getting bigger and bigger, grandkids, kids. We had Easter egg roll. And no, we did not roll. <laughs> Easter egg hunt. <laughs> I get up at seven o'clock in the morning, go out and hide. Total, I guess, we had 38 eggs. Yes. And some of them have little plastic ones. They put little prizes in the eggs. Oh. And uh, everybody...